Fresh first, the Stark Police Department has been absorbed by the Bradford County Sheriff's Office. This all comes as a part of a series of changes within the Stark City Government that included a resignation by the City Clerk and a raid of City Hall by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. For a closer look at these changes, we want to go now to Rich Donnelly, who is in the newsroom with more information. Anthony, bags of sealed evidence in, not in the evidence room and personnel records in trash bags with tobacco spit on them. Those are just some of the conditions detailed in a 104 page report by the Stark City Manager about the state of the Stark Police Department before the Bradford County Sheriff's Office took over at the end of February. That transition was just one of a series of changes in Stark. On February 27th, Stark City Hall was the scene of a raid by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Less than one week before that, on February 22nd, Stark City Manager Russell Mullins was joined by Bradford County Sheriff Gordon Smith for a tour of the Stark Police Department building before the Sheriff's Office takes over. According to a 104-page memo from Mullins to the City of Stark Commissioners, the Police Department building was in extreme disarray. These pictures were included in the 104-page memo, they show garbage bags full of personnel records that are covered in tobacco spit. There are also evidence bags out in the open and out of the secured evidence lockers, as well as loose ammunition, which includes bullets in the back of police vehicles. Less than one week after that tour, Stark City Hall was raided by FDLE. At this time, FDLE has not confirmed to First Coast News if the raid was related to the police department's transition to the sheriff's office. However, exactly one week after the raid, the Stark City clerk resigned his position. A letter sent from City Clerk Jimmy Crosby to Stark Mayor Scott Roberts reads, quote, A question has been raised over the issue of whether I properly qualified for the office of City Clerk. I have always strived to serve our city with the utmost professionalism and without unnecessary distraction. To avoid distraction from the good work our office has done and will continue to do, I resign effective immediately. Multiple calls and emails to various Stark City officials were not returned today. Regarding their raid, FDLE says this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.